took nearly 80 hours of work, but two freshmen have completed their massive humanities project. Thank you for watching Stampede TV. I'm Caleb Burney. And I'm Kayla Baker. I sat down with both students and got an inside look at what they created. Each year, freshman humanities students are required to take part in a creativity project. Mandy Lorch and Lauren Huddleston created a wooden Trojan horse standing in at 13 feet tall. They wanted to create something that had never been done. We wanted to build something really big and we were thinking through what things are really big in the works we've studied and so we thought back to the Odyssey which we did last semester we were, and we thought well let's build a Trojan horse and it kind of started as a joke um, thinking that we could build this massive Trojan horse but then we got serious about it and it actually happened. Both created the wooden horse in several stages, spending nearly 80 hours of hard work to come up with the final product of a 13-foot wooden Trojan horse. We drew up our plans. Originally, it was going to be 16 feet tall, but we settled for 13 feet because we didn't have enough material. Um, and we collected a bunch of pallets from Lowe's and from just a bunch of other places that would let us have their pallets for free, took them apart, and built this frame out of scraps that we had. Freshman humanities student Lauren Huddleston says the project exceeded her expectations. Um, it's bigger than I expected it to be. Mandy's a little more ambitious than I am, so I was expecting it to be a lot smaller, but it turned out pretty large. The horse is quite unique and even includes a special feature that allows you to climb inside. The project has been a major hit on campus, drawing in students and staff who all want to take a picture of the massive 13-foot wooden Trojan horse. Mandy and Lauren request that you use the hashtag TrojanHorse2018 when posting photos on social media. Both students were very pleased with the outcome and said the time was well worth it in the end. The best part about constructing the horse was seeing it all come together. So we spent a couple of weeks on it and so at first it kind of just looked like a bunch of pieces of wood but as we got towards the end it started to actually look like a horse and that was really exciting. This has been Kayla Baker reporting for Stampede TV. If you hadn't had a chance to check out the horse yet, it's not too late. It will remain up over the weekend.